What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be discussing our five favorite places to be aboard a Disney cruise ship. There were lots of places that we love when we're on a Disney cruise and we went ahead and each made a list of our top five places. Now these are not in any particular order and some of them can be found on both ships and some of them are exclusive to either the classic ships or the new ships. So I'll kick us off. My uh, first place that I like to be on a Disney ship is actually in the stateroom. <laughs> We've enjoyed all of them. Uh, specifically, I love just like taking a nap on the beds. I think the beds are really, really great for the fact that they're on a cruise ship. And it's just very uh, nice and relaxing to have that space that's all of your own after you're done with the hustle and bustle around the ship. Yeah, you definitely do get a different type of sleep when you're on a cruise. It's just yeah. always very relaxing. Disney staterooms for being on a ship in general are just so nice. Yeah. And uh, they have great like storage, so you can put your stuff away, so it makes you feel even bigger. So it's just a it's really nice place to be. Yeah. And that brings me right into my first place, which is also adjacent to the stateroom, and that is sitting out on the veranda. <laughs> Uh, now I love, especially in the morning, you know, they bring you your coffee and your croissant and I love just going out there and sitting and watching the sunrise, especially if you're like pulling into a pretty port. Mm -hmm. It's just my favorite. Yeah, that's lovely. Uh, my second place uh, that I love on the Disney ships is Animator's Palette, specifically on the classic ships. <laughs> love the show that they do on the classic ships with Sorcerer Mickey and the Fantasmic music. It's just, it gets me every time. Um, both, all, uh, both types of ships, the dream class and the classic ships, the decor and the theming is amazing and we just kind of like the classic ship edge a little bit more. Yeah, the classic ship is cool because you go in and the whole restaurant is just like pure white. Yeah, it's very black like and white in your face. sketches and then it kind of comes to life throughout the meal. And then on the dream class ships, um, it's already, you know, uh, colorful and animated. And they do the crush show, which is really cool to watch. And both of the uh, types of ships uh, on pirate night is fantastic if you can be an animator palette because they have all of this technology to, to play with it makes pirate night a little extra special yes very true and there are some really cool differences between the classic animators and the uh new animators but that could be its own video yes. discussing that in yes. detail. still one of our favorite places yes so my second place is satellite falls <laughs> This is exclusive to the new ship, so the Dream and the Fantasy, and this is the uh, basically part of the ship that's most forward and up on the top deck. I think it's like 15, but this is an adults-only area. They have a little like kind of waiting pool with a little like water feature in it, and then they have really nice, comfy loungers like all the way up the deck. There's never so a ton of people up there so it's always just nice and quiet and again it's adults only so there's no kids yeah that is one a drawback on the classic ships is their adult only area is is much less than the dream class and satellite falls is just fantastic it's so just again relaxing <laughs> i do like the design of the adult area in the classic ships as well just because they have the dual hot tubs there and they have yeah. like an actual pool. Yeah. I don't think either they of the adult area pools are that great right. on the new ships. Right. Um, they definitely like have their perks and things, but the Dream Class, you can't argue, it, it is bigger than yeah. the other ones. Yeah. The next uh, favorite place is the Rainforest Room. <laughs> Their 
rainforest room has like an indoor outdoor aspect to it but uh, my favorite part is the are those heated loungers they're, they're just so wonderful and uh, they have the different scented showers and they have the uh, jacuzzis that you can use and scents it's an experiment experience that you have to pay a little bit for it's usually less crowded than the jacuzzis that you get on deck and it's just a really nice kind of treat that you can add on to your cruise if you choose to do that. Yeah, I haven't gotten to do a rainforest room yet, but I am very excited to hopefully try it on our next cruise. Yes. And my next place is the Co Cafe. <music> place up on the uh, Lido deck where you can get your specialty coffees and we do love our specialty coffee and we spend quite a bit of time in the Coke Cafe. Yes, it's a very, again, it's a nice uh, place to kind of escape the hustle and bustle. Um, it's usually a little bit more quiet. It, it's an adult only area as well. Um, usually it's within the adult section and um, it's, just, it's just a really nice chillax place. It's kind of like your fancy coffee shop that you might find, you know, on land. It's just on the cruise. Yep, and it's also a bar as well, so you can get uh, some different drinks as well and some coffee inspired mixed drinks and they also offer a couple little food options and in the evening uh, they have like some charcuterie options as yes. well. Yes, I've heard rumors that they'll bring over kind of like leftover things from Palo and uh, so you never quite know what they're going to throw into that case so it is kind of fun to go explore that and that food is completely complimentary. The only thing you have to pay for there are the drinks that you order. Yeah, definitely a favorite for us, like before dinner when we're trying to get a little caffeine so we can stay awake for all the nighttime fun. Yeah. <laughs> so my fourth favorite place is actually one of my absolute all-time favorites is the Skyline Lounge. Uh, now we've been to the Skyline on the Dream, uh, but they also have it on the Fantasy. And it's just a very, very cool adult lounge in the adult entertainment area that's themed around all kinds of different uh, famous city skylines. And uh, they utilize that great Disney magic technology and you actually get to see all of these different skylines and they change throughout the night when you're there. Um, just a really cool atmosphere. I will say on the Dream, it we encounter just the nicest cast members there. Yeah. That always makes your experience better. And uh, the drinks we had there were some of my favorite as well. Yeah, so this is also my number four. I love this bar, and I love the bars on Disney Cruise Line, yeah. especially compared to some other cruises. Yeah, and the thing, I'll just interrupt that for a second to say something about Disney bars is I think the reason we like them so much is we, for one, we love Disney, and we love Disney touches. And they bring in that kind of uh, Disney imagination and almost like almost a little bit of like ch childhood <laughs> nostalgia, but for obviously adults because they're bars. So I think that's why we like them so much. Yes, but this bar is awesome and the menus are tailored around the different city skylines that appear in the background. Uh, and this bar is also cool because if you're on the Dream and Fantasy, the cityscapes are slightly different. I believe there's five on the Dream and seven on the Fantasy, and they both share Paris, I believe. My fifth favorite place on a Disney Cruise Line ship are uh, those wonderful kind of circular lounge chairs that they have on deck. <laughs> They're around the Cove Cafe adult area. Um, they have those wonderful cushions in them. I usually lay down on one the first day we get on the cruise and take a little nap. Uh, they're just so nice and it's the perfect place to sit and like watch the sunset um, and just feel that relaxation that you're on vacation. Yes, we have watched many a sunsets sitting out there while enjoying our Cove coffee. Yep. And my last one is Palo, uh, specifically on the classic ships. Again, this is 
because of the design of the classic shift. I love that they have that like open kitchen in the center and the restaurant kind of wraps around a really nice panoramic view. So if you're in port, you can get some really pretty views of the port there. And I think it just lets in a little more light Lights. into the restaurant. It feels a little more airy in the restaurant. Yeah, uh, so I just really love it. I love the setup of, of Palo and the classic ships, and I am excited to get back to it. Though, that would hold true for either ship. Yes, and the food is great no matter which ship you're on. It's just the design you like a little bit better on the classic. All right, so those are our respective five favorite places on a Disney cruise ship. Um, we'd love to hear what some of your favorite places are. And if you haven't been on a Disney cruise yet, we'd love to hear which one of these maybe you're excited to try. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell, wherever all those things are on the screen. And thanks for watching, guys. See ya. Bye.